percent of heart attacks occur. So they used to think that heart attacks happen this way. A blockage would get bigger and bigger and bigger until it was so big it clogged the artery, cutting the blood flow to the heart. And that would be it. You'd have a heart attack. Actually, though, these big blockages cause only about 12% of heart attacks. That's right. Most heart attacks aren't caused by big blockages. And here's why. Most heart attacks occur when plaque explodes out into the artery. The big blockages almost never explode because they've had time to form an armor-like cap, preventing all of that plaque goo made up of cholesterol, fat, calcium, and scar tissue from leaking out into the artery. Not only that, but little blood vessels have had time to grow around the big blockage, continuing the blood flow to the heart. So, most of the time, it's not the big blockages that get us into trouble. It's the little plaques that are just beginning to form that are the real culprits in heart attacks. The little plaques are the cause 88% of the time. The caps of these little plaques are still forming and fragile, and with all the blood rushing by, these little fragile caps that are keeping all the plaque goo contained may rupture at any moment. And when they rupture, your body wants to repair the broken cap and platelets rush into the damaged area. The plaques and platelets come together creating a clot and blood can't get to the heart. 